What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA SAG. And uh, for today's video guys, I have several quite interesting news. First of all, I will show you how important the CAT system is for the entire retail community and basically for the entire US stock market. I will show you how the wrongdoers are trying uh, to push this case down. On top of that, uh, I will show you uh, the clear evidence uh, from uh, several Congress members uh, that uh, some of them are trying to push this case down and I will show you the reason why they are doing this. So, and at the end of this video, I will share my personal story. That is why, guys, I highly encourage you to watch this video till the very end, because it is very important for me personally. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section if you think this video is valuable for the community. So, let's start with the news. We are on Mark Basile's official Twitter account, and just yesterday I showed you uh, some information in regards to French Hill's... Uh, statement and he made this uh, on May 16th and uh, he says that uh, uh, co consolidated audit uh, trail should not be implemented and he added uh, several so-called proofs of his words but in general we we I mean uh, MMTLP community and uh, Christian Shaughnessy in particular found out uh, some interesting information and uh, this information is following uh, Congressman French Hill has a lot of donors so who are potentially the wrongdoers. It is a major banks and hedge funds. That is why he is trying to push this case down, because this fact might directly impact uh, his wealth. On top of that, uh, let me show you another tweet that was uh, made uh, by Christian Shaughnessy and that was reposted by Mark Basile. Uh, you know that Anne Wagner also has the same uh, opinion as French Hill has, but uh, here you can see another due diligence that was made by Kristen, and she also found out that uh, Anne Wagner's uh, top donor is Robin Hood, and she wrote this. Keep that in mind as she speaks out against the CAT, Consolidated Audit Trial System, which will track every trade financial institutions uh, makes. Uh, she has also received big political donations from Ken Griffin and Citadel, sued uh, to try and stop the CIT. If uh, Representative Anne Wagner is so concerned about retail investors, her constituents, why isn't she demanding trade settlement? And here is uh, the proof for, of for this statement. Uh, it, it is a uh, screenshot uh, of uh, Anne Wagner's uh, donors. And as you can see, Robinhood Market uh, was the top contributor in 2024 and 2020, in 2023 and 2024. And definitely, with this uh, type of uh, fundraising from uh, the major Congress members who are trying uh, to push uh, very important uh, and useful uh, laws down, definitely we have to change the entire system. And I think uh, we can achieve it. So, let me show you another tweet that was published by Frank's Place and that was reposted by Anna. And this tweet uh, was made uh, because of uh, the Citadel Securities' uh, opposition to the CAT uh, system. And let me show you this tweet. Griffin Citadel Securities blasts massive SEC market tracker. It's unprecedented government surveillance, firm tells uh, court. Hey Ken, I have a few questions for you, just curious. One, can Ken Griffin explain why he pays Robinhood $800 million for their order flow but does not receive any commission? Two, why are huge firms concerned about our privacy information? More likely, they are scared of this section. The database is required to uncover manipulators and identify the sources of market turbulence. Three, is that the same financial service, uh, services business that required a trillion dollar bailout in 2008-2009 and appears to be following the same path 15 years later? See real estate commercial. Nice work regulating yourselves, boys. If you could cover your own losses, uh, I would probably agree with you. If you have 30% reserves, I might agree with you. If you are compelled as a hedge fund not to withdraw money from banks uh, in a panic at the first sign of problems, I might agree with you. Because none of uh, that is true and because the government 
that is us tax players is left to hold in the back every time you make a mistake i'm all for increased openness and yes supervision you don't like it either citadel securities founded by billionaire Ken griffin has raised serious concerns about new securities and exchange commission market tracking database according to the firm this database uh, represents a massive unprecedented government surveillance system that could have far-reaching implications for the financial services uh, industry and investors' privacy. And here are some key points. Uh, the ma their main concerns uh, related directly to the database, that uh, this uh, system should uh, accumulate all the information. But guys, this information is already collected by broker-dealers. Next one, industry impact. And right here, their main concern is that uh, it uh, might uh, decrease uh, the market liquidity. But definitely, it is not the case. Next one, privacy concerns. And uh, this is another useless concern because uh, all the information, all the private, all private and sensitive information is collected by the broker dealers. Next one, legal challenges. And here is the challenge that uh, they think uh, might be outside the SEC's statutory authority. But guys, this CAT system does the SEC and FINRA's job. And uh, if SEC and FINRA work properly, we don't have, uh, we don't need this type of system. But definitely, it is not the case. Next one, Big Brother regime. And it is uh, quite obvious that uh, not so many people want to have a Big Brother who wants to know everything. And uh, I have to admit that uh, it is not the only uh, person and it is not the only company who want to push this case down. Guys, let me show you how important and how useful this system is. Uh, Travis uh, and John Burda reposted the tweet that was published by Travis and it was reposted by Justice for MMTLP Investors. And Travis wrote on May 18th, the CAT system found 107 million option errors already on May the 1st and May the 2nd. And here's uh, this screenshot of uh, this uh, information. As you can see, 7 billion shares uh, were in error. And uh, this information is nothing else uh, but the potential evidence of uh, the naked shorting activity. Because if we have uh, some errors in option chain, so if you have uh, errors with the number of shares that were traded during several particular days, uh, this means uh, someone on the market are trying to perform the illegal activity by uh, issuing more shares uh, that uh, are basically counterfeit shares. And guys, this system is extremely important. As I already mentioned, uh, this system is pretty much uh, doing the FINRAS and uh, SEC job. And let me show you how miserable FINRAS actions uh, on the example of MMTLP shares. Rare DD uh, published this tweet and again he made a very, very interesting and thorough due diligence. Uh, and let me quote to this tweet in details. When an issuer appeals a Rule 6419 deficiency determination by FINRA, the SEC can overturn FINRA's decision. The SEC understands the rule. The first image from FINRA's website describes FINRA's role as reviewing and processing. And he added these screenshots. Here is the first one. But I want to just read uh, this entire uh, tweet. The second image is from FINRA's March 16 FAQ for LMTLP. An amendment by FINRA doesn't fit uh, into the category of review and process. The fact that an amendment by FINRA was necessary, it contradicts the idea that the corporate action submission was uh, completely reviewed. Then, the fact that the U3 halt was necessary once again gives the impression uh, that a review never took place or that an issue was uh, purposely ignored. The third image is from Robert W. Cook's response uh, to Ralph Norman's uh, and 70-plus members of Congress. In this response, Cook points out that FINRA doesn't conduct uh, the underlying corporate action that the issuer is taking. FINRA's role is limited to reviewing, processing and announcing the corporate action to market participants. Now go back to the second image. FINRA said they amended the MMTLP corporate action on December the 8th to clarify that FINRA would be deleting the symbol on December 13th rather than challenging the shares. Why would the MMTLP corporate action to distribute the shares of NextBridge hydrocarbons 
and to cancel the shares of MMTOP. Both actions uh, of the issuers uh, need to focus on FINRA's role of deleting the symbol. Since symbol deletion was FINRA's role, it contradicts uh, the third image, because uh, by including symbol deletion in the December 8th MMTLP corporate action, FINRA did conduct the underlying corporate action. If you look at the December 8th corporate action in the fourth image, the only action mentioned is symbol deletion. Distribution and cancellation aren't mentioned in the December 8th MMTLP corporate action. If you want proof, just try to find another exchange type of corporate action where FINRA bothers uh, to mention when uh, the symbol will be deleted. You won't find one. And guys, again, we have all the evidence, all the evidence uh, of, of the FINRA's and SEC poorly made job. And I have to say that uh, for now, we are trying to find out uh, by ourselves uh, these uh, contradictions and these uh, violations of their own rules. But with the implementation of a CAT system, it will be done automatically. That is why a lot of uh, people uh, from Congress who were paid uh, by the wrongdoers, they are trying to push this case down, as well as Citadel Securities definitely wants to push this case down. On top of that, guys, I have to say that uh, for now, we have, uh, I think, uh, less than one week uh, till the new potential RICO lawsuit uh, is filed and uh, I think uh, it might be very important and useful for the community. And uh, guys, don't be afraid because of uh, the long procedures of RICO lawsuits. I think uh, when this lawsuit uh, is filed, we will have another chance uh, to have a settlement because uh, in this case, uh, all the wrongdoers uh, will be forced to do something in order to cover them. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stay